Hi Virgo and welcome to your love story tarot reading for September 2019. I will go with one storyline throughout this reading so this will resonate a hundred or it won't fit. Okay, I am also going to read the Divine Feminine Energy on this side, the Divine Masculine Energy on this side. However, gender is irrelevant. Okay, I just say that for the sake of the reading. Um, you go with which side you feel is talking about your personality and your feelings. And <clears throat> if you resonate there, then the other side is obviously your person. So, Virgo, let's get right in and see what the overall energies are for this Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And happy birthday to all you Virgos out there that are celebrating September Virgo birthdays. Okay, so this is Divine Feminine is coming through as love connection. So the Divine Feminine is feeling the love vibes for this masculine. And this masculine is feeling supportive or seeking support. I would say really wanting to come in and support Virgo. Be there. Well, I shouldn't say that because you could be over here, right? So Mel Virgo feeling like um, really having a deep desire to support his feminine. And the feminine Virgo here really loving her masculine, okay? So these two cards coming out to represent the overall energy for the feminine and masculine in this relationship is actually quite beautiful. Feminine is feeling love and connection to masculine and maybe even offering masculine a lot of support, tenderness, understanding, healing, being his safe haven through September. Or it could go the other way around where uh, masculine is providing that type of energy for the feminine. Okay, so let's pull some more cards to look at the feminine's energy. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have the Page of Cups. All right. So the feminine has tried to block these emotions, has tried to not get caught up in all of this, but I really feel that this masculine is sweeping her right off of her feet and she can't help it and um, you know this to me it feels like a newer connection just based on the feminine's energy but let's see how the masculine is coming out also Virgo could be a water sign Cancer Scorpio or Pisces that you are involved with with that page of cups coming out All right, so the masculine is coming out as the Three of Swords and the, ooh, <laughs> so there's a little bit of fun going on as well here. Um, okay, this is actually, I did not expect that to show up um, here with this Three of Swords. Okay, Virgo. So... What's happening here is um, with this Three of Swords, that's that element of support or need for support, okay? And then over here, <laughs> it's like, but let's have some fun, okay? So even though there may be um, a situation that one of you is going through and the other one is really trying to be there, offer love, support, and encouragement, there is just a lot of passion and chemistry in this connection. So it's almost like, um, I don't know, whatever's happening um, around you guys, it's almost inappropriate to be all like lovey-dovey and can't keep your hands off each other. But it's almost like that's just where you're at. Like you can't. Um, wow. Uh, even if one of you is like really sad or in the struggle emotionally about something it's almost as though the passion and the chemistry between the two of you 
overrides that sadness as a distraction and you guys just have um, a really good time. Use your imagination for that. Um, but that's where the masculine's coming from. Um, he wants to be supportive. He really enjoys this feminine, okay? Um, he wants to please her. He wants to make her happy. He can't keep his hands off of her, really, um, with this energy. And the feminine, it's almost as though like she doesn't want to lose herself in this connection, in this bond. But man, this masculine is like just sweeping her right off of her feet. Let's pull some more cards. All right, so look at this, our memories. Twin Flame Journey. Maturity. And lastly, Angel Guide. Wow. You know, Virgo, this is interesting because um, in that, when I was picking up on like inappropriate, um, I was kind of feeling like maybe, I don't know, um, you guys are like attending a, a passing of somebody, like a funeral, but I don't feel like this is um, somebody that you, either one of you are like incredibly close to. This would be somebody more out on the peripheral, okay? Um, it's not to say that you don't feel sad. Maybe one of you feels um, more sad than the other. But I was kind of picking that up, and I wasn't going to say anything because this is a love reading and, you know, like, what's up with that? However, Angel Guide showed up. So, what I feel, Virgo, those of you um, who have somebody who has recently passed, either on your side or the side of your partner, I feel like that uh, energy, that person is around this connection and really uh, trying to bring you both into an awareness because um, again this feels like a, a newer connection but but Virgo with our memories this could be like a newer reconnection okay and what I feel is like this would have you guys would have met before September or you reconnected before September, okay? Like the meeting or the reconnection happened prior to September. And now I'm reading the energy of like the the newness of that connection or that reconnection. And you guys have an angel here, a passed on loved one, who is like making sure you guys come together and come into a full awareness of this connection that you guys share. and. The depth of it, it it's um, very sacred okay and with our memories um, this to me this is why I say there's this potential for a reconnection type of energy coming in um, because with our memories it's like one or both feel as though um, oh wow okay so listen this is interesting um, you guys may have reconnected like Maybe going to somebody's wedding or um, passing of somebody, um, family reunion, and it's not to say you guys are family, but it, it's like um, there may there may have been like some sort of gathering where um, like you guys dated you know in the past and you guys have connections and you know your family knows their family or friends know friends you know just depending on. Um, what it is for you personally and you both could have been like attending this thing whatever it is and ran into each other all right and your angel guide is like I brought you both to this place at this time so you guys could come back together all right so just keep that in mind and also new connections could have happened that way where you were coming with um, somebody and you met somebody, you know, one of their family members or, you know, um, if you were like mutual friends with somebody and you came and you met somebody new, it could have happened that way as well. You didn't have to meet or reconnect that way, but uh, for some of you that feels very strong, like that type of energy like brought you guys back together and there was uh, an angel that did that, a passed on loved one, okay? so. 
um, interesting message to come through a love reading, but it, there it is. Some of you, I guess, needed that clarification and guidance. Um, but if this is a newer connection, just the memories you guys have already created are pretty like um, epic and I don't mean like you guys have done all these amazing things you could have but the magnitude in which this masculine fills it is deep as well as the feminine okay if this is a reconnection um, it's like the memories um, of each other you both kind of entertain them you know through your separation disconnection no matter how you know long that was and that's kind of like nobody else really compared like all your travels and journeys up to this point nobody else really compared to what you guys once shared and again um, I really feel like these reconnections it's like right place at the right time could even be like there's some post on social media mutual connection post something and like um, you see them leaving a comment or you leave a comment and they reach out to you it could be something like that as well okay so Let's pull some more cards, Virgo. All right, so the feminine um, is coming through as the Knight of Pentacles. So the feminine, um, that's why, like, she's trying to, like, hold back. Like, she wants to make sure this can last like she doesn't want to lose herself like she's enjoying this and she doesn't you know want to become like that crazy girlfriend or something along those lines like she really wants to play this right like she wants to be with this masculine so she doesn't want to screw it up um, under our memories is the hanged man so this here those of you that were separated and you recently reconnected yeah, it's like you guys never got over each other, okay? Um, that where this is a newer connection, um, like I said, the, the experiences you guys have is going to really start shifting you within. It's like this epic type of wow and profound, like, whoa, you have unlocked me to a different part of myself that I did not know existed before, okay? So, Virgo, this is really deep stuff. Under Twin Flame Journey, look at that. We have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is like destiny. You and this person, Virgo, I'm sorry with Twin Flame Journey and Ten of Cups. Yeah, and now Six of Swords with maturity. Um, either if this is a reunion, you both are really much more grown than the first time around. And if this is a new connection, um you guys are really grown and wise going into it okay and with the angel guide here we have the mother of pentacles which would be the queen of pentacles okay um that's earth energy could be you or it could represent a uh, capricorn a taurus or a fellow virgo um or because this is under the angel guide this could be a passed down loved one that's you know coming through the one that's uh, either brought you guys to meet or brought you guys back in alignment with each other. And then finally, the masculine is coming through as the three of pentacles. So he really wants to do whatever it takes to be in this relationship with this feminine and make it work, okay? He's like willing to sweep her off her feet, whatever it takes, all right? And this feminine, she's feeling him just as much but she's really trying to hold back and not lose herself. But man, this is a beautiful, beautiful connection. A lot of passion and chemistry with the Six of Wands, okay? Even though there could be struggle or challenge in one of your lives personally, it doesn't matter. Um, when you guys come together, it's just like everything falls away and the world feels right. Like this is, is so romantic and passionate Virgo. I'm just like, wow. And both of you just want to be in this. Okay. So it looks really good for, um, this love story for September, whoever this relates to, and this is for, so I am wishing you all the very best. Take care.